Hi everyone, Julie Jokel, real estate agent in Irvine, California. Today I am showing you a standing inventory at Fresco at Eastwood Village. Why we select Eastwood Village and this community, a few highlights here. Uh, number one, it's a low tax rate. It's 1% for base tax rate plus only $33.84 per year for Melrose. So that is very low for a new construction in Irvine. And number two, uh, HOA is only $125 per month. That's fairly low as well. You get a lot of amenities here. You got a swimming pool, you got tennis courts. Uh, you have a park, some trails around here. And uh, number, and also um, there is a elementary school inside of the community. So you can take your kids walk to school every day. Number three, very convenient, convenient shopping. You can uh, get to uh, Orchard Hill Shopping Center very quickly within two or three minutes uh, by car. And uh, also it's a biking distance to middle school, Jeffrey Trail, and a high school of Northwood High. And uh, last but not least, a very uh, nice environment because it's adjacent to a more matured neighborhood. So you got plenty of trails, walking trails behind it and around it. Uh, right next to you, uh, it is a Hicks uh, walking trail. And also across the street from Jeffrey uh, Boulevard is a Jeffrey Trail. Great community. Uh, currently, they only have a one standing inventory. This particular house I will show you around. It's about 2389 square feet, uh, four bedroom, three and a half bath. So let me show you around. Downstairs has a bedroom. Uh, up, upgraded carpet and here is the downstairs bathroom full shower upgraded uh, shower walls downstairs uh, floor is already upgraded hardwood floor all the recess lights so you have a uh, backyard and also a side yard. Here's the kitchen, the cabinets is all the way to the ceiling. Wolf appliances, you got a stove, a cooktop, oven and a microwave, vented hood, upgraded countertop and a full backsplash. Here's the upstairs master bedroom. Lots of natural lights. Master bathroom, upgraded flooring, aisle. Separate sinks. Uh, quartz countertop, standalone top. And uh, here's upgraded shower. Two bedrooms. And here's the laundry room, upgraded tile floor. And here's the secondary bedroom with the closet. I wanna point it out something. Downstairs, uh, this is one of the windows in the living room. Uh, one of the options um, from the builder you can do is change this window to a French door. So the benefit of that is you can get to the side yard very easily. This particular house, they didn't do that, but you definitely can do that after you close. So that's one of the options. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, enjoyed this house. Text me if you have any questions.
Ignacio. Hello. Good to see you again. Yes, likewise. <laughs> okay, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Yes, I think one of the questions that we get a lot, I'm sure you get it uh, just as much, is yeah. you know, not just what's the price of this home, but what's it going to cost me to close escrow? Yes. Um, so we're going to get into some closing costs. Yes, fantastic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of broke it up into a few different buckets. Mm -hmm. um, you've got your escrow and title fees, uh, what we like to call prepaids or impounds. Um, and then uh, lender fees. So let's talk about number one, escrow and title. Yeah. So um, just a quick, uh, you know, lesson on escrow. So escrow mm -hmm. is a neutral third party that's yeah. uh, in between you and the seller of the home. Yeah. And uh, they kind of help facilitate the entire mm -hmm. transaction. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, they do charge uh, for that service. So wrapped up into the escrow and title fees are going to be the escrow fee, um, the title insurance, mm -hmm. uh, you've got uh, insurance for the lender and for the owner. Right. Um, then you've also got things like notary fee, um, wire fees, yeah. um, all the different components that are involved in getting the transaction done. Okay. Um, so that's what we kind of lumped into the escrow and title fees. Uh -huh. can, um, can, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, based on a $2.4 million home, mm -hmm. how much would be uh, escrow and title fee? Um, so I think for this transaction, uh, we're using about a 1.8 purchase price. Um, mm -hmm. And that's actually a good point that you bring up. We yeah. want to make sure that we specify that the closing costs are going to be specific to your purchase mm -hmm. price and right. the loan amount. Right. Um, so if you have buyers A and B, they're both buying the same mm -hmm. price of home, but one is getting a lower loan amount than the other, mm -hmm. uh, their closing costs would be slightly less than, uh, than the other person that's borrowing more. So yeah. just keep that in mind. But mm -hmm. for this example, um, on a 1.8 price, mm -hmm. the escrow and title fees are going to be somewhere around $5,500. For a $2.4 million price, probably going to be slightly higher. I would probably estimate around six or $7,000. Okay. 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 Sounds good. Um, now, the other reason that we kind of broke it up this way is because typically your escrow and title fees are going to be um, one of the larger components of the actual closing costs. Yeah. Um, now, uh, that might be superseded by an impound account, but not everybody chooses to have an impound account. So that's why we kind of put that second. But yeah. in some cases, and depending on what month of the year you're closing, mm -hmm. your impounds could be higher than your escrow and title fees uh, because your impounds are based on what calendar month mm -hmm. of the year that you're going to close. Yeah. So Can we do a video on that one too? We could. Yes. <laughs> yeah, later. We do an entire different video yeah. on that. So, um, so let me just explain on the prepaids. The prepaids would include things like prepaid interest, uh, which is going to be dictated off of the day of the month that you close. Yep. So, for example, yep. if you close in the middle of the month, mm -hmm. you're going to have 15 days of prepaid interest. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, if you closed in the middle of this month of May, mm -hmm. uh, you would have 15 days of prepaid interest. And then your first mortgage payment wouldn't be until July 1st. Right. Okay. okay. Um, and then if you were to have an impound account, mm -hmm. uh, you would have about six months worth of taxes and three months of insurance. Okay. Um, also included in the prepaid section is one year of prepaid uh, homeowner's insurance. Okay. So every lender is gonna require that you prepay one full year through the closing. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's that includes prepaids and also prepaids, um, if you're buying a house that has an HOA or an association, uh, you typically have to prepay at least one month. In some cases, they have you prepay two months of homeowner's insurance. So that would also okay. be included in the prepaid section. Okay. Um, and finally, prepaids could also include prepaid taxes. Mm -hmm. So whether you have an impound account or not, mm -hmm. a lot of times you're going to have prepaid taxes uh, on the property. And again, that's going to be dependent on when you uh, close escrow in the year mm -hmm. and whether the previous tax bill has been paid or not. Right. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Yep. And then finally, we get to the lender fees. Um, in this scenario that we looked at, and you know, it's going to be pretty similar for any home that you purchase. The lender fees um, are typically around $2,000. Um, I guess I'm speaking for Trustlink Mortgage. We typically have yeah. uh, an underwriting fee, which is about $1,000. Mm -hmm. You're going to have an appraisal fee. Right. Now, the appraisal fee will vary, again, depending on the price of the home. Mm -hmm. um, they can range anywhere from you know, $500. Uh, right now, we, I have an escrow actually for $7 million, and that appraisal is about $1,500. So mm -hmm. they can range quite a bit, and it is dependent on the purchase price. Okay. Um, and then you've got things like, um, I'm sorry, credit report fee. Um, and then there's some miscellaneous fees yeah. like a flood cert fee, which are very minimal. Yeah. But again, the lender fees are about $2,000. Okay. okay. Sounds good. This so, is great. 
yeah. to break it down like this. I get asked a lot by the, with this question. So when you purchase a home, what is uh, the closing cost? Besides the down payment, how much do I need to set aside? So this answers that question. Would yeah. you say in the rule of uh, thumb, how much, what's a percentage, how much I need yeah, to set aside? That's a great question. So I would say use anywhere from about one to 2%. And the reason why it can range so much is because again, you may choose to have or not have an mm -hmm. inbound account. Uh, right. You might speak to your lender and decide that you want to pay points to buy your rate down. So that right. could fluctuate the lender fees. Um, so I would say rule of thumb is about one to two percent mm -hmm. of your purchase price. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let us know. Yep. Uh, we'll be happy to help you. Uh, Ignacio will help you with the mortgage and I can uh, help you to find a home you like in Irvine, California. See you next time. Thank you guys. If you need an experienced real estate agent in Irvine, California, text me. I'll be happy to help.